Here we are, the moment has come. The most epic Boodle fight I have ever seen. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're going on another fun food adventure on Palawan Island here in the Philippines. And look, you have seen us do epic food on this show. You have seen us do Rico's Lechon. This is... This is insane. You have seen us make a giant cauldron of Dinuguan. But what we're doing today goes far beyond both of those. We are making the most epic homemade poodle fight you have ever seen. Let's do this. We are in the market. It is time to get some fish for our poodle fight. I'm with my man here, uh, Poppy. Um, <laughs> he wants me to call him Poppy. I guess I'll do it. As long as you call me Big Daddy. Is that weird? <laughs> Fight is a Filipino military tradition where food is piled onto some banana leaves and cadets stand eating with their hands fighting for the tastiest morsels. We've come to Puerto Princesa's fish market to start gathering for our feast. We found it, the wet market, right this way. This is the sea grapes. It's good also with tomato, onions, and soy sauce. This is from the ocean? Yes, what? yes. <laughs> These are the ones, do they kind of feel like little fish eggs? Yes. Do you want little capsules of ocean water exploding in your mouth? It's kind of like that. Is this good for a boodle fight? Yes. This is one good for a boodle fight. You peel it and then you're uh, just gonna suck the head for more flavor. You just, we're gonna just suck the head, guys. <laughs> I don't see why we wouldn't just suck the head. This market is packed to the gills with an insane variety of seafood. Oddly geometric snails, tropical fish of all sorts, and some things I've never even seen before. What the frick? Is this like a giant grouper? <laughs> what is this? I don't know, man. This looks like something from Fukushima over here. Man, this is the biggest pile of fish I ever saw. <laughs> Usually it's like uh, six inches or eight inches only. Yeah. This is the biggest one. Yeah, that, that face is messed up. Oh my God. Look, this is uh, has a unique taste. It's like a durian of, of fish. Oh, durian yeah, of fish. Uh, yeah, the smell is it's so distinct. Even you bowel still smell like that. Just the same coming out as it does yes. going in. Uh, are we eating that today? I think we're okay. We'll keep moving on. The durian of fish. That sounds terrifying. Uh, we need this kind of size of squid. One of my favorites to stuff things in the squid, you know? What I really like is to put some cheese on it. So that once you grill it, you're gonna, it's gonna really melt good. One of Poppy's standout boodle fight inclusions is his stuffed squid, packed with diced onion, tomato, pepper, and cheese, with more cheese melted on top. Ma'am, your squid is looking very respectable. I like it. Right, it's big and plump. It's ready to be stuffed with delicious cheeses. Uh, yellow fin tuna, baby oh. yellow fin tuna. <laughs> They're little babies. Yeah. <laughs> How big can these get? Do you know? Do they get really big? Yeah, like the size of a car. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> From here, we're gonna get our squid, our fish, our sea grapes for, for vegetables. This is the ultimate poodle fight. We're going all out with this. We're stacking seafood to the ceiling, and then we're putting something special on top of that. We're gonna go check that place out next. Bro, have you ever heard of putting a lechon on a boodle fight? Never. <laughs> Dude, there is, there is a very unexpected lechon like rotisserie place where they're making this pork back here. Here? Yeah. <laughs> Through a little bit of mud. I smell something. Cross the wood bridge. We got to pass these vicious guard dogs. Yeah. <laughs> they look. Oh. Oh, okay. don't even pretend. Oh, I see it. Smells good. So I ordered one of these. This is gonna be the perfect topping on top of our boodle fight. It's like, you know, you put a cherry on top of a sundae. It's a very heavy cherry. To come to the Philippines and not experience lechon would be a trip wasted. For only $100, we're getting this beautifully roasted pig to top our boodle fight. Whoa. Dude, this looks hard. <laughs> if I did this for even five minutes every day, I would have actual abs. Two hours to cook. Yeah. And he's gonna do the bicycle kick for two hours? Yeah. Mad respect, I couldn't do that. So right now they're gonna rotisserize the lechon. What's great is actually they're just gonna deliver it to us. Uh, just simple operation. They've got, they clean the pigs over there. They do the rotisserie here. It looks like they can do four at once. This is new for me. Usually nope. I, I see stainless steel by a motor. I've seen the manual style with the bamboo. Yes. And I've seen the Rico's Lechon like factory style. And then this is somewhere right in the middle. I think I've seen every variation of Lechon roasting that there is in the Philippines now. We're going to head back to the resort right now to get some cooking underway. Let's do this. Make this, make this go viral. Guys, I really need it. Please. Thank you. Bye.
<laughs> Cooking is underway. We've got our fish a roasting. We have our stuffed squid and uh, one more surprise. Here comes our surprise. We're getting yes. our first looks right now. Oh, yeah. All right, that looks fine. That yeah. looks like uh, what, like beef or pork intestines? Nope. Uh oh. We call this itlugan. This is uh, the intestine of the tuna, wherein the the premature egg is there. What? Yes. The yeah. intestine of the tuna that contains the premature eggs. Yeah. All right, this is awesome. <laughs> Gonna mix it also with this. Pinakurat. I like how that's in a recycled whiskey bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tuna intestines with premature unlaid eggs. Here we go. Still, adobo taste, what? A little bit. There's a feel of like caviar and... Cab no, no, my mouth just went on a journey. So the texture is awesome. Nice and chewy, a little crunchy even. I got no problem with that. I got no beef with that tuna. <laughs> no, I'm uncomfortable with this little laugh you keep doing. Like there's still there's still some surprise I don't know about. Yeah, I'm this not, one. I'm value. not so sure about that. When I make a hot dog, uh, like sure, ketchup, maybe mustard. Huh? What's this? What's going on in here? You always ask where where the intestines go in the market, right? She's like taking out the guts and stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you guys eat that too? You guys have made a condiment out of fish intestines. Fish guts. That's great. I bet it smells like you roses. Oh yeah, you gotta hit it like a Heinz bottle of ketchup. Oh, it just kind of poops out into the bowl. <laughs> There's real bits of intestine there. That's good, you know what, that's good enough. You've never even had this, have you? Yeah. <laughs> You have it. <laughs> After you, I'm gonna try it also, the dayuk. He's acting like, oh, come on, you have to eat what the Filipinos eat. You've never even had it. <laughs> We're going all the way, baby. No halfway. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I see you are switching. <laughs> oh, man. I'm afraid to taste it also. It's not that bad, but it's just like sour, salty, and livery. Oof. It's fermented fish intestine. <laughs> You're doing a great job. All right. See, look, this is my favorite thing. When <laughs> local people struggle with the local food, then I'm like, yes, all right, good. <laughs> it's okay to struggle a little bit. It's time to eat the paho, man. Here we are, the moment has come. The most epic boodle fight I have ever seen. And it's also the first one I've ever seen. Boodle fight on steroids, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Is this lechon de leche? Lechon de leche. Oh, and it's my first lechon de leche here in the Philippines. This is the best part here. Right behind the neck? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do the honors, sir? Uh, you just get up, poke it, and get some. Oh, the, okay, wait for me. the skin. <laughs> oh, it is crispy, it's fatty, it's oily. Let's yes. try it out. Cheers. Oh. Like it? That is ridiculous. <laughs> so crispy. So rich. I didn't know that was the best part. Nobody told me that because I think they were the ones eating it yes. instead of telling me. Yes. <laughs> no, no one was giving up the secret. What if I just rip off some of the side here? Mmm. <laughs> It's like crispy bacon. Oh, we do have seafood too, I yeah. forgot. What is a salted egg? The process is like doing a century egg. They put some mud on it and, mm. and salt and then they ferment it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Follow up with rice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Salty, almost buttery. Finish it with the... Lato. Sea grapes. Yeah. Whoa. And then you're gonna choose the variety of flavors. It's like little... Ocean eggs. Yeah. <laughs> it's very eggy, uh, very oceany. Try the squid with, with cheese. You, you've got like a whole order of operations. <laughs> yeah. So, grilled little squids. Mm, I like the head. It's charred, it's chewy, so delicious. Put some rice, don't forget the mm, rice. Mm. Don't forget the rice. Try the okra. Oh, okay, we're going one after the other. I like this. We need some vegetable in there. Mm. We're not done yet. These yeah. beautiful prawns. Mm. We're gonna suck the head because there's the, there's the flavor in it. Is that right? Is that ready for yeah, sucking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the gooey. Or it's a little gooey. 
but that's the rich flavor. And of course, don't forget the rice. You're just trying to get me full. A little and bit of this, a little bit of this, and, uh, mixing flavors like, in your mouth. Like, Everyone's yeah. reaching over each other. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so the last thing to do today is to invite the whole crew to come join with us in this poodle fight. Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. Woo! Time to chow down. Listen, I want to thank Rovia, Garden and Pool, and their whole crew and team for making this possible. And of course, Papi. Regan. Re oh, now, it's, now it's Regan? No, Papi Regan. So Papi Regan, okay. Thank you, homie. Uh, this was crazy, this was fun. Yeah. And uh, I hope we can do it again sometime. No matter how epic your brutal fight is, it's still not complete without friends to share it with. This video is about epic food, but it's also about giving back to the amazing staff at Rovia Resort and Pool. If it wasn't for these guys, my Palawan series would have been impossible. As they devour this feast in minutes, I want to remind you guys to check out the full Palawan playlist, including my journey to find woodworms in the mangroves and trying Palawan's famous crocodile. Let's eat for real. All right, jump in, jump in. Kai, you can put that down. We got to eat. 